Please welcome Fulbright Scholar to Zimbabwe and Chair of the Board of Directors of the Fulbright Association, the Honorable Cynthia Akron Baldwin. Good evening. Well, thank you. <laughs> Many of you are aware that I am from Pittsburgh. And hey! <laughs> And like every other Pittsburgher, and now the world, I love Mr. Rogers. We are all part of his neighborhood. In fact, my husband and Mr. Rogers were once about as close as two people might get. Their lockers were right next to each other in the club that we belong to. Mr. Rogers once said, when I was a boy, and I would see scary things in the news, my mother would say to me, look for the helpers. You will always find people who are helping. That's what we at the Fulbright Association do. We look for the helpers. Not only do we look for the helpers, we are helpers. And helpers can be heroes. The actor Christopher Reeve, who many of us remember as Superman, said, a hero is an ordinary individual who finds the strength to persevere and endure in spite of overwhelming obstacles. Someone else anonymously defined a hero as any common person placed in uncommonly difficult circumstances who displays uncommonly noble character. And here's what that famous philosopher Bob Dylan said. A hero is someone who understands the responsibility that comes with his freedom. All three of these quotes are true of our laureates from Nelson Mandela in 1993 to Doctors Corbett and Fauci in 2023. You know, I discovered that this is not the first tag team event for Doctors Corbett and Fauci. Dr. Corbett is an alumna of the University of North Carolina, and in May 2021, they both delivered virtual commencement speeches for the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill Class of 2021. How cool was that? This evening, as we honor our laureates, we reflect on the vision and values of the Fulbright Association for a peaceful and interconnected world in which all peoples and cultures are respected, diversity is valued, and we are committed to mutual understanding. We realize that each of us can be a helper hero to someone. During the pandemic, many helper heroes rose to the occasion and putting their own safety aside, reached out to assist others. So at this, at this time, we recognize all of the helper heroes who were on the front line to guide us through the pandemic. Will all of the healthcare professionals and first responders please stand to be recognized? Thank you all. The members of our board of directors continue to share their time, sagacity, and treasure for the betterment of our association. Will all the current and past board members who travel to be with us this evening please stand to be recognized. Thank you, you may be seated. 
On the front line for the association is our hardworking and talented administrative team. Will you all please stand? And we could not have this wonderful event without the work of the Fulbright Prize Committee, chaired by Robert Gervaisi. Will the members who are present please stand? Thank you for your ongoing work. We are happy with, uh, we are happy just happy, <laughs> but we are really happy to have with us this evening federal officials from the White House, Congress, and the State Department. I am going to ask you, now I remember last year, you all weren't very good to me. Please hold your applause until the end as I recognize each group. Can you do that for me? Ah, <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> We are privileged to have with us Jeff Zients, White House Chief of Staff. Please stand to be recognized and remain standing. I knew it. <laughs> we are pleased to welcome fellow Fulbright and Congressman from Maryland, and sitting at my table, John Sarbanes, please stand to be recognized and remain standing. Oh, very good, I'm proud of you. <laughs> we are also pleased that um, Congressman James Clyburn from South Carolina joined us for the reception but had to leave. Some of you saw him there. And we are pleased to have Ethan Rosenswag, Deputy Assistant Secretary of State for Educational and Cultural Affairs, several members of the State Department, and members of the Fulbright Foreign Scholarship Board. Please stand to be recognized. Now. Additionally, many ambassadors have honored us with their presence this evening. Joining us are the amba ambassadors from, and as I call the country, please stand, Ecuador, France, Iceland, Pakistan, Poland, Sri Lanka, Thailand, and Uruguay, where both the ambassador and his wife are Fulbright alumni. Please stand to be recognized. We also welcome members of the Diplomatic Corps, Corps from Argentina, Austria, Bulgaria, Colombia, the Czech Republic, Finland, Greece, Ireland, Israel, Italy, Japan, Luxembourg, Mexico, Morocco, Nepal, Peru, the Philippines, Portugal, Romania, who is represented this evening by Fulbright alum, South Korea, Senegal, the Slovak Republic, Sweden, Taiwan, Turkey, Turks and Caicos, and Ukraine, who is represented this evening by Fulbright alum. Please stand and be recognized. In conclusion, I will quote Mr. Rogers again. <laughs> Please keep these words in your mind 
and in your heart as I have. We live in a world in which we need to share responsibility. It's easy to say it's not my child, it's not my community, it's not my world, it's not my problem. Then there are those who see the need and respond. I consider those people my heroes. Whether you are here in person or with us virtually, thank you for sharing this evening with us. And congratulations to our newest laureates and my heroes, Dr. Kismikia Corbett and Dr. Anthony Fauci. Thank you.